Hello chess friends, my name is Art Bick and I'm the author of Chess for Android. Today I want to give a very brief instructional video about connecting the new DGT Pegasus uh, electronic chess board with Chess for Android. To connect the Pegasus with Chess for Android, make sure that you've first done the calibration that DGT uh, recommends before making any connections. But then you don't have to do anything else. There's no like classic Bluetooth uh, connection pairing first. Uh, all you have to do is switch on the board. And you'll see this little animation going counterclockwise. Then go to Chess for Android, long press the notation window, then select connect to eboard and choose the new entry DGT packages. You also want to make sure that you have the LEDs on. There's no clock beep on this one and you can also use the slider to select the brightness of the LEDs. I'll leave this in the middle. Then you press connect and you see that it's looking for the BLE devices by itself. And then there's a long list usually. The more uh, items you have in the house, the longer this list. But choose the Pegasus and you'll see the pop-up of the trademark information and the connection has been established. Now to play, just play over the board. So when I lift up a piece and the move coach is enabled, you'll see that it actually shows the possible destination squares. And I just have to put it down. E4, B6. And the move is played. The computer move is shown as before. And now I can just continue playing. You see the possible destination squares. And then I, I put it on immediately the response from the computer and I just have to play it on the board. If I don't like the move codes, then go to the menu and disable the move codes. Now I'll show that when I lift the bishop, you just see the, di uh, the discrepancy between the GUI and the electronic board being indicated, but I can place the bishop, bishop c4 and the move bishop is complete e4. there's the computer move so when i like the move code just go back and enable it again oops that was full screen and now when i lift it you'll see that it cycles through all possible destination squares i actually wanted to make this steady led so you would see them all at once but i found that you can only have four leds steady uh, at the time, so I chose to make this always a uh, blinking and cycling through the destination squares. And I can go Bishop to D3, complete the move. D5. All other things are the same as for all the other electronic chessboards that I've talked about in previous videos. But this was very briefly about the Pegasus. So I hope you enjoy uh, playing with this beautiful new board. Thank you for listening and talk to you later. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.